Okay, so we're going into the an emotional attachment. Uh, Colin has sat down with the crew. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this then. If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas. What the fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Bert. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, get the two. fuck out, Dad. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed you setting those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know. Second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list, right beneath Marcano's. Now, we're all done acting like goddamn children. Let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's have a go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so. No pen from traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, Cassandra's right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the capos. Once the lieutenants and the capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing it so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, hey, nice, nice speech. speech. Think they, think bought, they it? bought it? Okay. They're all too, They're all too greedy, greedy or pissed, pissed off at Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, it comes to that, I'll hand it. The photos were a nice start, no. I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. The place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own drive. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over now.
Map has additional missions available. Meet up with Donovan to continue going after Morgana. Complete optional agenda and trafficking missions for your underbosses and their lieutenants. Complete an agenda and traffic mission. Match you extra cash and increase underboss loyalty. Press square on the map to select one of Donovan's missions or one of the optional agenda trafficking missions. Same thing, good talk to Father James. Stones unturned, talk to Donovan. Talk to the voice. Well, sports and exotic. Hmm. They're very good at racing games, but. About Morgana? Morgana? No, it's something no, else altogether. All Just get here. Get here. All right. All right. See you soon. Maybe I should have spoke to him beforehand then. Oh, look, these nodes have popped up around here. What's this? This is the racing circuit. I forget it might need to be too bad. Clear Parish. Let's stick on. Compromise Commercial. Hot River Cold Blood. Creature of Habit. These monies. So head here first, I think.
in the bottom but I should still be up at all. God damn it. You could. My mom's Bucatini recipe. I thought I'd give it a try. She back in the Bobby? No, she uh she passed a while ago. You got any folks back there? Take a look at that paper. Some city councilman's up for re-election. I need a favor. Who is he? It's out of a mark on? This fuck. Him and his pals killed a friend of mine. Look, he'd see me coming from a mile away. Oh, yeah, because I'm so inconspicuous. You know how to get the people. It's taken me 12 years and a lot of money to find this cocksucker. I'd make it worth your while. And I'd consider it a personal favor. I'll think about it. If you have trouble finding them, look for somebody on the street might be willing to give them up. When you're done, come back in. Got a lot more names need to be X'd out. First motherfucker, you're gonna need a bigger mattress for all this cash, kid. You hear this shit about the guy plugging the two black kids on his lawn over in South Downs? Fucking rough. some money. Help the people. God damn it. Let me know if you need anything else, Sean. Pearly used to put these under our beds. Thought they'd keep us safe. Fear drives people to seek out all manner of protection. God, the Invisibles, Noah. But sometimes, that is not enough. 
No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Right? Not with a 45 in my hand. The white government says we don't have a right to arm ourselves and we can't be trusted. But the folks around here, all they're looking for is a little peace of mind. There are stashes of guns hidden in this city. I need you to steal them. You sure this is about the hollow? I don't need you starting a revolution. Fucking everything up. When you out there running around killing all those crackers, what do you think people will see? I'll tell, tell you what they see. A crazy, crazy nigga. A nigga part, part of a savage hole that needs to be exterminated. Well, I don't give a shit one way or another. They can come after me. And what happens when you're not around and another black man or woman is, huh? We all the same to them. Don't you think the people of this neighborhood, the mechanic, the housewife, have a right to defend themselves? History tells me that giving you more guns might be unhealthy for me. It's not like that. Not anymore. I'll see to it. They get in the hands of the right people. I'll see what I can do. And don't worry. I'll make sure you benefit as well. Don't push me, Cassandra. You know... At some point, you're gonna have to trust me. Maybe. We ain't there yet. Shooting. Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbo with the 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying, we didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre would be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't I guess you were able to keep Burke sober long enough to get him on our side? Vito's probably grateful about getting River Row back, but you should watch him. Old school mob guys like him, they're always looking for an angle. Sal's the same as those communist fucks we were fighting over in Nam. He's a tick, a lazy fuck who lives off the work of others. Fucking asshole. Hear about the protests in Berkeley? Commie assholes. 
should ship their asses over to Hanoi if they're so gung-ho about it. I say, my friend. At the time, I, I understood the pain Lincoln was in. Come home from war, expected peace. But in Lincoln's case, all he found was pain. Heartbreak. Ain't no way that doesn't drive you down into the muck and mire. Anyways, I was, uh... I was thinking... Hoping really that uh, if I could help him find a little closure, maybe we could shift his focus away from the Marcanos. See, he was in a coma when we laid Sammy and Ellis to rest, so he ain't never had a chance to say his goodbyes. Thought maybe if he did, he might see that he had a chance at a normal life. There ever was a soul more wrong than I. I do not know him.
I think us going to Sammy's like this is going to do you a lot of good, Lincoln. I'll be honest with you, Father. I hardly see the point in it. Hard thing to let go to say goodbye. Saying goodbye won't give me what I want, Father. Maybe what you want isn't what you need, son. Your Aunt Lily called yesterday, checking up on you again. I think she's setting her mind on doing something with Sammy's. Hmm. Can't hardly see what. In the shape it's in and all. Well, she's always been a woman of determination. Don't know if you recall, but after Perla passed, Sammy went to a dark place. Buried a loss deep down. Started running girls out of the back of the bar at all hours of the night. Finally, Lily had had enough. She marched in with the fire of God inside of her, kicked all those girls out, customers, Sammy's crew. And boy, if she didn't lay into her brother like I've never seen, told him he was doing wrong by Perla. But more importantly, he was doing wrong by you boys, sending a message that their mother didn't matter. From that point on, there was no more prostitution in that place. Huh. All I remember from that time is Aunt Lily swooping in and taking us to her place for a few nights. Getting ice cream and such. She protected you boys. Family like that's a gift from God, son. Well, I know you ain't leaving me here. Come on back. Where'd she, Where'd come, she from? come from? Ah, me, Ernest. A shit right for sporting wheels and all. Have you ever heard the saying you catch more flies with honey than vinegar? Have you ever heard the saying that? Just that one there, yeah. Go fuck yourself. A few times. <laughs> Seeing about you a lot. It's personal. I got it covered. I need your full attention on what we're doing here. Can't have you running around with your head up your ass. A couple of lads come to me looking for wheels. You from around here? Belfast. 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 Stay heavyweights. Oh, oh, monumental. monumental. Looking for uh, cereal members. Parts, Parts to throw. Keep the Belfast log guessing what things go. Burn! They asking or telling? Aerator on us. Nikki could have done this in an hour. <laughs> Fucking talk to her, man. Sort your shit out. We got kids? Wayne's on around someplace. None that I know of. And you've not got a goddamn clue the many ways a child can disappoint you. I'm pretty sure the feeling's mutual. Oh, Christ. Well, what do you need, Bert? Uh, starters. More of these cars. You can put your hands on them and deliver them back here. That'll be a lot of help to me. I'll keep my eyes open. How you do that, Lassie? That. Fucking dick. <laughs> well, that's what I went in there for. May the good yeah, Lord continue to bless, bless us all. I'm sure. Where's that police call? So yeah, an airport.
None of this makes any sense. That, 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 that can't be how it happened. Was I just die there? What the fuck? Okay, that's weird. Oh, no, the game's frozen. Fuck's sakes. Uh, okay, so I'll finish this one here.